Hi, uh, today I'm uh, going to do a little video. I'm going to show you some of the uh, modifications I've done to my boat. Um, this is my my uh, first attempt at a boat modification. I'll just show you a ticket for a little uh, tour around boat. All right, well, we started off uh, at the front here. I um, put a piece of plywood on the front and uh, covered that in, carpeted it, and put a seat on there. Um, you can see the seat, it swivels all around. That's kind of cool, makes it easy for fishing. There's a post there, uh, I don't know if you can see it right there, that you can use to put take out and uh, use this as a kind of an up platform. I took a piece of plywood and uh, covered it with carpet and uh, placed it on the bottom so that I could uh, level out the floor. A couple of the concerns I had with the boat was when I first started using it I found that my feet got cold uh, where we fish it's kind of cold water and uh, I uh, found that really uncomfortable. So at the back here I've, I've got uh, floor and a couple of boxes. The boxes, this box here, I use that for the uh, gasoline and it's a great place to mount the downriggers. By uh, putting the boxes in, it gave me a place to put the, the downriggers um, so that I could still make my way up to the front of the boat and I could leave the downriggers in all the time. Um, and back here, I put a piece of uh, three quarter inch plywood, covered it with carpet and then uh, drilled through it. Put my mount for the, the back seat and that makes it really handy. Uh, also, I mounted uh, a bilge pump and uh, got it mounted and going right out to the side here. So we've got the uh, exit there. That was a little bit hard to do to actually put a hole in the side of my boat. Um, over here, we'll come around to this side and you can see the, uh, we've got the stereo. Uh, mounted a stereo in and all the controls there for the uh, the navigation lights, uh, the bilge pump, cockpit lights and the depth finder. So there's the fish finder and the compass there. Uh, I utilize the use of a uh, an old extension cord to run for my uh, some of my wiring. I found that was that worked really well. Uh, fastened it all on the side. The one thing I did is I, I used uh, hot glue to fasten it to the side of the boat that seemed to work pretty good uh, post for the post light and at the front I've got the nav lights when I put the lights on I used uh, digital or not digital uh, NED LED sorry LED lights uh, hardly use any battery the battery is um, underneath the radio and the radio box if you look here what I've got there is that's a um, LED blue light I have it on that side of the, the uh, bench and on this side of the bench I've got the LED light. Um, I find that that lights up the inside of the boat really really well. Anyway, I uh, just want to show uh, what I've done at the back here. This is how I mounted my transducer on the back of the boat. I didn't want to put any holes in the boat so I just used a piece of plywood and fastened it on and uh, stuck it on the back like that. This was my project over the winter and uh, I'm pretty proud of it. I, I'm, I like the way that it turned out and I just thought I'd uh, share it with my, my YouTube friends. So anyway, that is my boat modification for 2012, I guess 2013 now. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.